Hey guys, it's Coach Allen with the Elite Jump Training Program, and I'm excited to share with you some more in-depth perspective on finding out what your jumping type is, and then more importantly, being able to train to it. I've spent 20 years as a basketball performance coach, and I've realized that every player in the world prefers to have a, a specific jumping type, or they're always going to jump higher with their specific type. We have speed types, we have spring types, we have strength types. And the key to you maximizing your vertical jump is not only knowing what type of jumper you are, but training specifically and customized and individualized for that jumping type. We're gonna go into greater depth to find which jumping type you are so you can make sure that your training matches your jumping type and you get the best results possible. The first jumping type we're gonna talk about is the speed type. A speed type is a player like Kevin Durant. Speed types usually like to take off from one foot and they generate their power by creating speed and momentum when they're going to the basket. Now I'm gonna show you three of my favorite exercises for speed type jumpers. The first exercise for speed types are gonna be pogo jumps. We're gonna have our demonstrator get in an athletic stance and they're gonna generate the vast majority of their power through their calves and through their ankles. So there's not gonna be a lot of knee bend and as soon as they hit the ground, they're gonna spring right up. We're gonna do a set of six. The reason pogo jumps are great for speed type jumpers is because most speed jumpers don't do a ton of activating their glutes and their core, so there's not a lot of knee bend. So we want to generate that speed and that momentum from the knee down. So we want to make sure that again, as soon as we hit the ground, we're elastic and we pop straight back up. Our second exercise for speed type jumpers is a depth jump followed by landing in a split squat stance. Uh, this is a fairly advanced exercise, so he's going to get on top of the bench when he drops to the ground, the moment he hits the ground, he's going to spring back up into a high vertical jump. And when he lands from the second vertical jump, he'll be in a split squat stance, which is very similar to a lunge. Uh, as I mentioned, speed jumpers are usually one foot type jumpers. So this landing will help build strength and power one leg at a time. Perfect, get one on the other side, same thing with the leg. That was a good one, cool. The other reason that we love this exercise is the elasticity that we get from the momentum from creating the depth jump and landing in the split squat. And we're doing so one leg at a time, which once again, most of our speed jumpers prefer jumping off of one leg. And the third of my favorite exercises for the speed type of jumper is the rear foot elevated split squat. Once again, it's been my experience that most speed type jumpers prefer to take off of one foot. So we wanna to try to customize our training to, to strengthen one leg at a time. And the rear foot elevated split squat is one of the best exercises you can do to build strength, power, and stability one leg at a time. So the player is gonna put their instep, instep on top of the bench, and they're just simply gonna lower their back knee to the ground. So we're generating all of the power and strength off of that front leg, which is the same thing they'd use when they're actually jumping. Why don't we just try to get five reps on each leg? Now let's get five perfect ones. There you go, that looks great. Excellent. Yep, same thing other leg, there you go. And as you can see, the key to the success of this program is making sure that the drills and exercises we pick match your jumping style and your jumping type so you can get the best results possible. Now we're gonna talk about the spring type jumpers. Spring type jumpers would be a player that I've worked with like Terrence Ross. Uh, this is a player that has a, an equal combination of speed and strength. Uh, they can jump high off of one foot, they can jump high off of two. And what's most important about this is that we take a balanced approach to this type of customized training and we incorporate both one leg and two legged exercises, one leg and two legged plyometric exercises, and we take the approach of combining speed and strength. The first exercise we're gonna do for our spring types is an oldie but a goodie. It is going to be a dumbbell jump squat. And this in essence is what the spring type is all about because we are gonna be combining speed 
with strength. We're going to be doing an explosive movement under load. So the player is going to get in a great squat position holding the dumbbells to their side and will vertically jump as high as possible and then come down and land soft, quiet, and on balance and then immediately recoil into the next jump. Let's get a set of five. can't stress enough that for spring type jumpers, we want to make sure we are marrying the two worlds of strength and speed in everything that we do and have a balance attack, doing some things off of two feet, some things off of one. The second exercise we're going to do for spring type jumpers, once again, is going to combine strength with speed. And this time, instead of doing a two foot exercise, we're going to focus on doing one leg at a time. We're going to do an explosive step up where the player will use the bench, they'll generate all of their force through the top leg to explode up as high as possible. And this is where we're creating all of the force for the jump. Let's go ahead and get six reps on each leg. Yep, perfect. Nice. Yep, same thing other way, you got it. So we combine speed, we combine strength. Now with an exercise like this, over time as the player gets stronger, we can also add load. We could hold a medicine ball or we could hold dumbbells at our side. But as a spring type, it's so important that everything we're doing combines that strength component with that elasticity and that, that power movement. The third of our favorite exercises for the spring type is going to be a kettlebell swing. Uh, if you don't have access to a kettlebell, you can do the same thing with a dumbbell. And what we're working on here is doing that triple extension and really working on strengthening the hips. Once again, since we'll be under load, we'll be doing so for strength, but we're also gonna do this movement in an explosive manner, so we're working on speed as well. Player's gonna get in a good, strong athletic stance holding the kettlebell, and they're gonna use their hips to drive the kettlebell forward. Let's go ahead and get a, a set of six. Yep, excellent. This was one a little bit more core and hip focused, but again, we're still combining strength with speed. And as you saw from the top three exercises, some of which we attack off of two feet, some of which we attack off one, which is why spring jumpers are the perfect combination between speed and strength. Now let's talk about the strength jump type. These are typically really powerful players like a Victor Oladipo who have so much strength, but oftentimes they lack the movement efficiency necessary to jump to their full capabilities. So we, we know how strong they are, now we need to make sure that we improve some of their movement patterns and some of their springiness so that they can bring everything together and jump as high as possible. So the first exercise for our strength type, once again, we're not worried about increasing their strength because that's already something that comes natural to them. Now we wanna work on movement efficiency and the ability for their muscles to fire as fast as possible. So we're gonna do a one-legged lateral hop. So we're gonna go ahead and we'll go from the wood to the cushion, back and forth. Why don't you get 10 jumps on each leg? Yep. When we're talking about strength jumpers, it's not that we're going to ignore the strength component. We just already know that that's naturally where they're strongest. So we want to round that out with training that's customized to kind of bring up those other weaknesses so that they can jump as high as possible. The next exercise for our strength types is going to be a depth drop. And on a depth drop, we're worried about quickly being able to absorb the force and land softly, quietly, and on balance. And you're probably wondering why we're doing something that's working on landing if the entire goal is to jump higher. And that's because your body has different uh, self-preservation mechanisms that won't allow yourself or allow your body to jump any higher than the force that you can absorb. So we need to make sure that we're training your ability to absorb that force when you land so that ultimately you can increase the ceiling on what your vertical jump will be. So we're gonna use the same bench and player is just gonna step off of the bench and land and we want to make sure we have great stability in our landing and we want to make sure we come to that that frozen point as quickly as possible. We want to absorb force as quickly as possible with as much stability as we can. Why don't we just get four of these?
it's important to note that as a strength jumper, you already have so much raw power and so much raw strength that you're used to doing things for say one rep at maximum workload. But you realize the game of basketball is repetitive. We have to make sure we can get multiple jumps. So in addition to just increasing your vertical jump, we need to make sure that we can land soft, land quiet, and land on balance so that you're prepared for the next jump and the next movement. Our third exercise of our top exercises for the strength jump type is going to be a tuck jump, where the player is going to get in an athletic stance, jump as high as possible, and they're going to tuck their knees using their hip flexors up into their shoulders. Once again, they have the raw power and strength to be able to do that, but we need them to add the quickness component. So you're going to see the elasticity of as soon as they hit the ground to go right back up. Let's get a set of six. One. Yep. As you can see, not only does that require strength, but it also requires a neurological connection to be able to do it quickly, requires some balance, and looking for that elasticity and that spring to marry with that strength. If doing continuous tuck jumps is a little bit too advanced for you, and as a strength type it may be, and that's okay, we want to give you an abbreviated version where you can take a little hop step in between to gather yourself and then be able to go to the next tuck jump. Let's go ahead and demonstrate. As we said before, what makes the Elite Jump Training Program both unique and revolutionary and different than any other program on the market is that we know that there are three different jumping types. And once you've figured out that jumping type and you train for that jumping type, then you'll get the best results possible. However, I want to make sure you know that we never want to confine you and put you in a box. So just because you're a strength type doesn't mean that you won't be doing stuff for speed or for springiness and vice versa. The program will be very well rounded and we want you to be able to train all of the different types. But it's so important that you know your specific jumping type so that we can cater to that and have different nuances in the programming to make sure that you're training for your specific jumping type. But you'll still be able to train and do all of the components of all three jumping types. Now we just showed you a variety of different exercises and regardless of your jumping type, please know that your training program will include a little bit of everything. There'll be some strength stuff, there'll be some speed stuff, there'll be some movement efficiency type stuff. But your training program will be customized to your jumping type and will simply lead and lean in that direction. So right now the next step is for you to figure out exactly what jumping type you are and get to work.